cream sandwich strikes yet again. How's it going, guys? Me, Aaron from PhoneDog.com, and Android 4.0 is on the HTC Sensation XL. Let's take a look. Ice cream sandwiches are never a bad thing. Ice cream sandwiches after dinner, ice cream sandwiches for lunch, while ice cream sandwiches coming to more phones as well. This is the HTC Sensation XL and it's just gotten Android 4.0, also known as Ice Cream Sandwich. Now with Android 4.0 comes a newer version of HTC's popular Sense interface, Sense 3.6, and you're gonna see that it's a little bit different from previous versions like Sense 3 and beyond but it's not quite the same as Sense 4, which is, come, which is what comes on the HTC One line, the One S, the One X, the Evo 4G LTE, et cetera. You can see down here the menu is a little bit different. We can come down here to the bottom, the app door, move stuff in and out. For example, we can put camera back down here and do our shortcuts. And then when you turn the device off and back on, you can see those are the shortcuts that pop up in the lock screen. Otherwise, font differences, you'll immediately notice the ice cream sandwich look and feel when it comes to fonts. And then the notification shade, you'll see this as well. Colors are a little bit different. You've still got your recent applications up top and you can see your notifications here, but the fonts are slightly different. And when we pop over into quick settings, you can see Wi-Fi connection up there at the top, kind of highlighted with the ability to go directly into it. Additional settings with a shortcut to your settings and some different look and feel here with the toggles. You can see these have changed slightly. I can access my task manager, and then I can go into settings by pressing that button, and you can see the menu has changed here. But again, when you look at this in comparison to the Evo 4G LTE or the One X, the menu looks even more different than going from, let's say, Sense 3 to Sense 3.6. So it's more of an evolutionary bump, at least in terms of the look and feel, but Ice Cream Sandwich is a great mobile operating system, and it's nice to see HTC supporting uh, some of their older devices with the newest version of Android. So going down here, device personalization stuff still here. The look and feel overall is still very similar. You swipe between stuff, and you can scroll between your various uh, folders here and you can easily access those. But you're gonna see some popular stuff that you love from Ice Cream Sandwich, or you may love, I'm assuming you do. Maybe you don't, who knows. Like uh, Task Manager, where I can come in here and easily close stuff out by pressing and holding the Home button. And then when I go into Menu, of course, you can see the uh, Ice Cream Sandwich look and feel here, where the menu is a little bit different. Same with Google Search, I can come in here, and you see it looks a little bit different. And the keyboard, while it still is HTC Sense keyboard, you can see the font has changed ever so slightly as well. We'll go into Messaging and take a look. I have a demo phone number in here that you can see kind of what it looks like here. I have no idea what I was saying about Charlotte Douglas, but you can see the font slightly different, and that's the real uh, the real difference. Let's go into all apps here and take a look, and you can see some of these things have changed as well. The Google Talk uh, icon has changed. Otherwise, very similar across the board. No real differences. Of course, you got your Facebook stuff, but that's, that's downloadable. That's not really anything particularly uh, exciting. What I do want to jump into is go into settings, and let's go down here to security, and you're going to see Face unlock, that's a big popular feature of Ice Cream Sandwich. Face unlock, I can use my facial recognition to unlock the screen, and I can keep going from there, and I can put my face, just like I did uh, in another video this week when I was highlighting Ice Cream Sandwich. I don't even remember which device it was. There have been so many devices recently that have been kind of rolling out Ice Cream Sandwich that it's hard to keep track. Gmail's changed as well. You can see the look and feel is a little bit different here. So we'll go into Carolina Nightlife, for example, and take a look, and you can see the header stays at the top, and I can see Fridays on the patio, I can easily go back to my main folder and then I can easily see the contact information by clicking there and I can do mail or save to people. Then I have my three dots here, which is kind of the equivalent of a right click or a menu button in the actual application itself and I can scroll back and forth between the emails just like that. Down here I can press and hold and see some of my shortcuts, archive, delete, and more and then I can go into a new email just like that, but you can see the overall look and feel is a little bit different. It does take some time to get used to. Coming from previous builds of Android, it took me a while to get used to this version of Gmail on Android, but I'm proud to say after you do get used to it a little bit, it's a, uh, it's a much better version. No real changes to the internet so far as I can tell, and let's go ahead, I know it requires network access, but I wanna see uh, what we've got as improvements here. Again, keyboard's a little bit different, you got your shortcuts up here, back, and then speak, so it's always nice that they include the text down below, but otherwise, no substantial changes there. Ice Cream Sandwich now available on the HTC Sensation XL. Much more coverage to come on PhoneDog.com. With this and more, as all these devices start getting upgraded to Ice Cream Sandwich, we're going to cover each and every one of them, provided that I actually have them in my office while uh, Ice Cream Sandwich is rolling out. If I don't, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot I can do. But if I do, we'll be doing lots of videos. So stay tuned, my friends. Much more coverage to come. Be sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash phone dog. We're always doing giveaways on there talking to you, doing more stuff, cool stuff like that. Check it out. 
facebook.com slash phone dog. Be sure to follow me on Twitter as well, phone dog underscore Aaron. Hear those phones whistling. They're in approval of this too. Phone dog underscore Aaron on Twitter. Let me know if you've gotten the ice cream sandwich update on your device. If you love it, you hate it, it's made your device faster or slower, let me know. Phone dog underscore Aaron on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Much more coverage to come on the ice cream sandwich rollout of 2012. We'll see you next time.